Hey, I'm Nick Felker, and today... Hold on, give me a second. Okay, Google, turn on the studio lights. Okay, turning the studio lights on. Hey, I'm Nick Felker, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make your smart home devices work with the Google Assistant without building a conversational interface. Right now, the Google Assistant works with more than 1,500 smart devices from over 200 popular brands. I'll show you just how easy it is for your devices to be part of this ecosystem. Hey Google, what's the weather going to be like today? Today in Mountain View, it will be a high of 101 degrees. Wow, that's really hot. I should find a way to cool off. So imagine you have a company selling internet connected fans and you want your users to control them from the Google Assistant, whether you're using a voice activated speaker like Google Home, their phone, an Android TV, or any other supported surface. With the actions on Google's Smart Home API, you can integrate your existing cloud-connected smart home devices with the Google Assistant. In this example, our smart fan has plastic fan blades and a motor connected to a developer board. This device listens to messages from our server to turn on and off. You can use any cloud service and device operating system that you want. The choice is yours. So let's get started with making our fan work with the Google Assistant. You will need to connect your web server to the Google Assistant. Your webhook will be called when the user gives a command and your server will have to process the request and complete the user's query. You can link this webhook to a project in the Actions on Google console. Just select the option to build for a smart home and provide the URL for your webhook. In order to make sure that each user is only controlling their own fan, you will need to set up OAuth credentials so the Google Assistant can communicate securely to your server. Smart home devices connect to the Home Graph, a database which stores and provides contextual information about the user's home and the devices inside. For example, HomeGraph can store the concept of a living room, which contains multiple types of devices from different manufacturers. Without having to deal with parsing sentences yourself, you can handle complex queries like cool down the living room or make my living room light brighter. The Google Assistant uses this information in order to execute user requests based on the appropriate context. Your webhook communicates with the Assistant servers, receiving intents and responding by taking action on devices or responding with information about a user's devices. For example, Webhook will be asked to provide a list of users' connected devices via a sync intent. It can also be asked to turn the fan on or off with an execute intent. Your cloud will have to handle the actual management of the state and execution. If asked whether the fan is on, a query intent will ask your webhook to provide the current state of the fan. When using a Smart Home API, you provide a list of traits that your device can support. For example, my fan can turn on and off. The Google Assistant handles all the possible ways you can say that. You don't write your own grammars, nor build a conversational app. When users say, turn my workshop fan on, please, the Google Assistant processes your command. The Home Graph understands that you have a fan in your workshop and that it can turn on and off. Then the Google Assistant will turn that into a structured JSON payload that it sends to your webhook for processing. Now that our webhook is done, we can open the Home Control settings in the Google Assistant. I can link to the Nick app and get back all of my devices. Once the devices are synced, I can control them. OK, Google, turn on the workshop fan. OK, turning the workshop fan on. Ah, this is much better. I hope this video helped explain how to get started with integrating your smart home devices with the Google Assistant. I think I'm forgetting something. OK, Google, is my smart fan still on? Yes, the workshop fan is on. Visit the documentation to learn more about smart home and join our community to discuss this with other developers.